So you are playing your favorite game and you notice that your game is stuttering so you look up online and download MSI Afterburner to monitor your statistics. And then you find out that your CPU is always at 100% when you're playing games. So in this video I'll show you how to fix and reduce the CPU usage and increase the graphics usage to get more FPS or consistent FPS in some cases. So let's get right to it. Alright guys, first step we'll take out the obvious stuff that is always going to be taking your CPU in background. So if you check right now, go to processes, you'll see Google Chrome. And sometimes you might even have close to Google Chrome window. You can see the idle CPU usage always being 1-2%. to it can go up depending on what kind of tab you are having open. So if you're, say, playing a YouTube video, you might see heavy CPU usage in background. So all you need to do is just close it, go to settings, then system. You have to click hands, then system, and then uncheck this thing that says continue running in background, and then Google Chrome is closed which will free up a lot of memory as well as reduce CPU usage. So with that one out of the way, let's get into a game and monitor what's going on. So we've got Fortnite here. You can see we're running at 100 FPS, but I've limited it from settings. So I'm gonna unlock it to show you what it looks like if I unlock the FPS. Let's just have it unlocked. I'll just jump in a match. So you can see now, I'll show you the settings. We're running medium settings with DLSS set to performance and reflex low latency set to on plus boost. I'm going to turn it off to show you the problem of high CPU usage. So you can see our uh, CPU is being used 66-67% and graphics card is being used 42-43%. So how do we use the remaining capacity? Well. In this game's example, you really can't do much because of how it's designed, large worlds and stuff. You know, you can see how big jumps we were getting. We, we were at 60 for a moment there. Now we're back to 100. We're not crossing 100. CPUs at flat 62%. Graphics at 43%. So how do we use more of the graphics? We can change settings. We can set the preset to epic. Now you can see we're using 75% of our graphics, 60%, which is more than we were using before. So now we're running at native 1080p resolution, no DLSS. We're still getting 100 FPS. And now, because we're not doing any downscaling or upscaling, you can see our GPU usage has gone up 91%. But at this stage, you should ask yourself the question, do you want the highest amount of quality and utilization of your GPU or do you want your GPU and CPU to stay pretty much in the mid 50-60% usage and be you know cool like right now we're running 79 degrees on the GPU makes the game run absolutely smooth we're dropping down to 73 FPS our GPU usage has gone up CPU usage has come down because there's not enough frames coming from the GPU so what's the takeaway from this game at least? If I go back, set to medium, DLS is to performance, and apply. We're getting 148 FPS, CPU is 4 GHz, maxing out 55%. This game is a bad example of how CPU could be bottlenecking your gameplay, because it's heavily relying on that single core performance. So 4 GHz is kind of limiting factor here instead of how many cores or how much CPU usage you can get through the game. What you can do is limit the FPS either from the game itself. Some games give you a pretty flexible slider, but Fortnite doesn't, so or straight to 60. What if I wanted 100? In that case, I'll just quit the game. I'll go to local app data and then I'll go to Fortnite. Saved, Config, Windows Clients, Game User Settings. I highly recommend installing Notepad++ because it makes it easier to edit these game files. Now what you need to search for is press Ctrl F and search for frame rate. Right now it's set to 0. You want 100, so 1, 0. And now I'm going to hit Save. 
if you're using regular notepad it's the same procedure just save the file close it you can see now we are hard locked at 100 fps because we changed the config file but you're asking the question what if i'm not playing fortnite what if i'm playing another game that's where rtss comes in so we're locked at 100 so i just call tab out of the game I'm assuming you already installed MSI Afterburner. If not, I'll leave a link down below. So you just install MSI Afterburner in RTSS, which is driver tuner statistic server. Open that. Now in that window, you can turn on and off a few things. So, but you can also limit the FPS. So right now I'm at 100 at the game engine level, but if you couldn't reach 100, maybe you need 90. So I'll just type in 90, press enter. We're locked at 90. I'll just jump in a match real quick. All right, so we've got a scene here. I'm looking at a wind turbine exactly there. And you can see our CPU usage is 40 to 45%, 36%. And I'm going to change the FPS limit and show you guys how much it makes the difference on the CPU usage. Once you limit the FPS enough, you can actually turn up your graphics settings. So we go back to Riva Tuner, and then now I'm going to reduce it to 75. We're at 75 FPS. You can see the CPU usage has dropped from 37.40 to now 30 to 35%, and the game is absolutely smooth and playable while your CPU usage is pretty low. Now I'm showing this example because in some cases when you're playing a game, maybe you have a weaker CPU, and your CPU is already at 100%. This will help you alleviate that 100% bottleneck. All right, guys, so now because we've turned down the FPS limit so low, we can actually turn up the graphics settings to increase our GPU usage. What I've done here is set everything to Epic and then turn off DLSS to add load on the GPU. And you can see we're still running consistently on 75 FPS, same frame, same video render, and you can see the CPU usage is still around 40% while our graphics has jumped up to 72%. And Fortnite's just a you know, worst case scenario example. Let me jump onto a graphics heavy game where you get a lot of FPS, like For Honor. Let me just do that. All right guys, if you're in a game of For Honor, you can see that if I max out all my settings, everything's maxed out. If we do that, then our GPU is basically working overtime and our CPU is relaxed. So if your GPU is capable, always max out the settings to release the stress from the CPU. On the other hand, if you're trying to do high FPS gaming, like I am here, I want high FPS as well as high graphic detail, you can turn on options like DLSS or FSR. But an old game like this doesn't have all those options. So what can you do? Well, you can reduce the render scale. So if you go to graphics, you can reduce the render scale to 50 and look at them FPS go. So now our GPU usage has relaxed a little bit, but I think we're now bottlenecked by the CPU. It was at 99% before and now it's not at 99%. Interesting. Also, if you don't want to turn down the graphics and reduce the CPU load, Let's assume right now my CPU is at 100%. I'm still getting 140 FPS, but my CPU is at 100%. I don't want that. So right now we're averaging about 40%. What I can do is just Alt-Tab, go to RTSS. You can also, by the way, uh, limit your FPS from NVIDIA Control Panel if you have NVIDIA GPU. I believe AMD has a similar thing as well. So if you go to 3D settings, scroll down, and then go to max FPS and you can set the FPS right here. Both RTSS and NVIDIA work pretty good, but I have always been using RTSS because it's easy to change. You don't have to wait for loading screens like NVIDIA Control Panel takes forever to load. So what I'll do, I'll just limit it to 100 FPS. Go back to the game. Now look at that. We're now averaging, instead of 40% average CPU usage, it has now dropped to 25, 30%. You can even hear my fans go quieter as I limit the FPS because now my PC doesn't have to work that hard and everything is so butter smooth. You guys won't be able to see it because the video is in 24 FPS, but there are no stutters at all. Like the game is hard locked at 100 FPS. 
it is amazing how much difference it makes to just lock your FPS at a certain amount rather than letting it free and just go wherever and you will have massive frame drops and stuff so yeah this game is another example where it's graphically intensive so you can either turn down settings to get more FPS and relieve the pressure off the CPU alternatively what you can do is limit the FPS to reduce the stress on the CPU depending on what you're trying to achieve if you're trying to achieve stable predictable performance go with limit FPS if you're trying to achieve the maximum performance then I would say lower your settings and set the FPS limit to something your PC can easily achieve so if you're running at 140 FPS average I would definitely set it 20% below that so that's 28 FPS lower so 112 FPS but you get the point I set it to 100 games run epic if you're playing competitive games like CSGO Valorant I would suggest if you're getting 300 FPS try 250 200 something like that you can even have core game FPS limit on RTSS all you have to do is just add the game here and then set the FPS here this is the global setting it applies to all games but you can have global set to zero and then you can configure per game this is the limit and that's how you reduce your CPU usage while increasing your graphics usage as much as you can on Windows 11 or Windows 10 to be honest the procedure remains the same and there you have it guys now you know how to get the maximum amount of FPS while keeping your CPU usage from mid to mid high instead of maxing it out and all other applications keep struggling in the background causing your FPS to drop consistently which you don't want anyway guys smash that like button if this video helped you reduce your CPU usage consider subscribing and dinging that notification bell just down there and check out my other videos right up here where I just added this new end screen and what you think about it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.